Hi guys, so today we're looking at graphs of linear sequence. So it's called a linear sequence because the plot of points would lie on one line. So let's just see what that looks like. So if I plot these points, 1, 3, 2, 7 and 3, 11, where we have the term number on the x-axis and the value on the y-axis, all of these plotted points lie on one line. Therefore, this sequence is a linear sequence. In linear sequence, the difference between consecutive terms is always constant. This means that we have a common difference between our terms. For example, if I have the sequence 3, 7, 11 and 15, the difference between these terms is a constant value. We are adding on plus four each time. The first difference is constant. When I graph a linear pattern, on the x-axis, I put the term number and on the y-axis, we put the term value. Let's graph this sequence to see what it looks like. My first point is 1, as my term number is 1, and the value, the term value, is equal to 3. So the point I plot is 1, 3. My second point has a coordinate of 2, 7. The third point has coordinates of 3, 11. And the fourth point has the coordinates of 4, 15. We say that when points form a linear line that the x-axis is directly proportional to the y-axis. When you have a linear sequence, you have a directly proportional graph. Let's look at an example question. A table representing how two plants grow over a seven day period is shown. Plant one grew at a rate of 1.4 centimeters per day and plant B grew at a rate of two centimeters per day. In part A, we are asked to complete the table and graph the height of each plant over a seven day period. Okay, let's look at plant A. For plant A, we're told that the starting height is three. We're told that in day one, the height is 4.4. This is because we are adding on 1.4 centimeters to the height each day. On day two, adding on 1.4 gives us a height of 5.8. Let's complete this table for the next five days. In day three, our height is 7.2. Day four, 8.6. Day 5, 10. Day 6, 11.4. And day 7, 12.8. Okay, let's look at plant B. We're told that the start height of plant B is 0 centimeters. So at day 0, the plant is 0 centimeters tall. We're told in the question that it grows at a rate of two centimeters per day. Therefore, to find the height on day one, we add two centimeters. This gives us two. In day two, adding two centimeters a day again gives us a height of four. Continuing this for day three, four, five, six, and seven gives us our heights of six, eight, 10, 12, and 14. We're now asked to draw a graph 
for the height of the plant over the seven day period. We're told that on the X axis, we should have our number of days and on the Y axis, we need the height of the plants. We will draw two graphs on the same X, Y axis. Okay, let's draw our X, Y axis first. On the X axis, we have our time and days. Here we'll go from zero to seven days. Zero to seven. And then on the Y axis, we have our height. Our height must go up as far as 14. Therefore, I'm going to go up in twos from zero to 16, just to give ourselves a bit of room. Let's plot our line for plant A. Our first point for plant A is zero, zero days, and a height of three. Our second point will be one on the X axis and 4.4 on the Y. Our third, our second day will be two on the X axis and 5.8 on the Y axis. Continuing this gives us these points for plant A. We can see that all of these points fall in the same line, so we can draw a straight line between them. Okay, let's repeat the process for plant B on the same graph. For plant B, when we have day zero, we're told that the height of the plant is zero. On day one, the height of the plant is two. On day two, the height is four. On day three, the height is six. Day four, the height is eight. Day five, the height is 10. Day six, the height is 12. And day seven, the height is 14. This gives us our coordinates. Plotting our points gives us this linear graph, which we will label plant B. In part B, we're asked to use our graph to identify the day at which the two plants are the same height. To find where the plants are the same height, we look at where our two graphs intersect. So where do they intersect? They intersect at this point. To find the day where the heights are the same, we drop down and read what day that intersecting height occurs at. At day five, the plants are the same height. In part C, we're asked to use the table or the graph to find the slope, the rate of change of both plants. To find our slope, we can use the formula rise over run. Let's look at rise over run for plant A. In plant A, I will draw my right angle triangle. My rise becomes the height and the run is the base of the triangle. For my triangle, my rise is equal to 1.4. That's 1.4. And my run is equal to 1. This gives me a slope of 1.4 over 1, which is equal to 1.4. Let's do the same for plant B. The slope is equal to rise over run. Draw a right angle triangle between two points on your line. The rise is your height and the run is the base. In plant B, 
This gives me a rise over run equal to 2 over 1. My slope is equal to 2. The slope represents the rate of change of the height of the plant per day. The plant grew at a rate of 1.4 centimetres per day and plant B grew at a rate of 2 centimetres per day. You can see that you could have also have read these values from the question. In part D, we're asked to write down the formula to represent the height of each plant. The first method we'll use is finding the equation of a line. The equation of the line is given by y is equal to mx plus c, where m equals the slope and c equals the y-intercept. Let's find the equation of the line for plant A. In this equation of the line, y will equal the height of the plant and x equals the day number. Okay, plant A. We fill in for the formula y is equal to mx plus c. For plant A, we know that m, the slope, is equal to 1.4 and the y-intercept is equal to 3. The y-intercept is where your line crosses the y-axis or what is the value of y at a day of 0. Substituting these values into our equation of the line gives us y equals 1.4x plus 3. Let's find a formula to represent the height of plant B. We will use the same equation of the line, y equals mx plus c, where y equals the height of the plant and x is equal to the day number. For plant B, m is equal to 2, and the y-intercept, c, is equal to 0. In plant B, our graph crosses the y-axis at 0. Substituting our values of m and c into our equation of the line gives us y equals 2x plus 0. And simplifying this, gives us y equals 2x. Let's look at our second method to find the formula to represent the height of each plant. In method two, we will use the general term for a linear sequence, tn equals a plus n minus one times d, where a is our starting term, d is our common difference, and tn is the height of the plant in centimetres on a certain day, n. Okay, let's find a formula using method two for plant A. For plant A, our starting height, our first term is equal to 4.4. This is our height on day one. And D, our common difference, is 1.4. Let's substitute these into our formula. We get Tn equals 4.4 plus N minus one times 1.4. Multiplying this out, we get 4.4 plus 1.4 N minus 1.4 and adding together like terms gives us tn equals 1.4 n plus 3. Okay, let's find a formula for the height for plant B. In plant B, our start term, this is our value of our first term, is equal to 2. 
and our common difference is also 2. Substituting these into our formula gives us Tn equals 2 plus n minus 1 times 2. Multiplying these out gives us Tn equals 2 plus 2n minus 2. And adding together our like terms, we are left with Tn equals 2n. Please pause this video and take down the example. Please now go to your books on exercise 8.1, page 107, 108 and 109, and complete questions 9, question 10, and question 13.